I never knew you in life. Your first life, anyway. You died on a battlefield long before my time. Something special brought us together. They called it the Traveler. And when it arrived, it changed your world forever. It was a golden age. And for centuries, humanity thrived. Until it didn't. An ancient enemy pursued the Traveler across the universe. Humanity faced extinction. But the Traveler made a choice. Its sacrifice destroyed its ancient enemy and brought life to the ghosts. I am a ghost. More importantly, I'm your ghost. And you are one of the Traveler's chosen. You are a guardian. This is your destiny. Destiny. Right then guys, we're at our first problem. Shall we choose the Titan, the Hunter, or the Warlock? This is the first hurdle. Titan, Hunter, or Warlock? Which one shall we choose? And uh, Mark HD, I have no idea. I've, I haven't even, to be honest, I haven't really played uh, the, de the first Destiny what's been out.
rolling guys, yes the game is around about £50, um, I did just purchase it today, I just got it delivered within two hours, so which is quite good. Um, I think I've done my character at the minute, so we'll go ahead and start that up. Cora, if you tell me this is a practical joke, well, it kills me to say it, but I, I would be really impressed. Impressing you, Cade, is the easiest thing I'll do all day. Let's get serious, people. Zavala, this is my serious face. Can't you tell? Ikora, what have you got? Someone or something has sabotaged the Skyline defense systems. And comms have been spotty for the last few hours. Every sensor beyond the wall has gone dark. Hmm. Maybe it's just the storm. Maybe it's... What are the set feeds telling us? Nothing. Well, that's good, right? No. I mean, they're not there. There are no satellites. And that's not good. Our approach. This is City Hawk 723. Anyone home? No response on any channels. Even the emergency frequencies. What is going on back there? Remember when I told you that you fly too fast? Forget I said that. Fly fast. Get moving. We need to find Zavala, Ikora, and Cade. Right then, guys. So, first up, graphics. Um, it looks very standard a minute, to be honest. Something different, obviously, in the game, but you see loads of kind of plane crashes and kind of crashes now. 
So I'm just going to go ahead and play now, do a quick jump. doesn't make sense. The Cabal conquer systems by blowing up planets. Whatever they want, it must be here, in the last city. This is Commander Zavala. Civilians, report to evac points. Guardians, rendezvous in the plaza. Our city will not fall. Hello, um, Mark HD. Is that a bit better? Well, African boy, sorry. Is that mic a bit better now? doing the hero thing in the plaza. Me? I've got a date with whoever's behind this. It'll be a short date. From there, it will lead you through the hangar to the plaza. I'll take care of these people. If the Cabal want war, give them war.
The size of that thing must be their command ship. Assaulting the city? Look at the traveler! Okay, my ghost keeps tagging these cabal as Red Legion. Akora, what do you got? They're elite. Ruthless. And rumor is, they have never known defeat. Until today. Today they face guardians. But Savala, they're attacking the Traveler. The Traveler waits. We protect our people at any cost. The Traveler? What is that thing they're attaching to it? Come <laughs> on. 
hold here. The command ship is next on the list. Missile! Stay inside my shield! More Red Legion! Show them what Guardians are made of! The last of the shuttles is away, but the speaker, he never made it. I'm going to look for him. I've got the cargo. Go over to Ikora. Find the speaker. We're on it, Commander. going on forever guys forever
ship off the field. You guys have any ideas what to do now? I love Viviere, yes. A lot of the stuff is too it's too common to be honest by the looks of it. So a lot of the graphics are something I've saw before. Nothing exciting really in this game. It's fast paced, it is very fast paced. But then again a lot of games are now. GTA, Call of Duty. But this is kind of sci fi. I know yeah yeah, nothing what he can interact in. There's literally nothing he can interact with. Graphics are standard, average. I mean, look at, if you look at the fire, let's have a quick look at the fire. There you go. Let's have a look at this fire. Even the plants. The grass, the ground. 
enemies. Enemies. This is how we look. Very plain. There is a bit to them. GTA, yeah, GTA has improved a lot, but it's more about the money for GTA. So, I mean, this game will probably be about money as well, because you'll probably be able to buy... I know you can buy an extra uh, an extra map or something already, which you can prepay for. But um, with GTA, uh, the DLCs are, they are doing a lot. But the problem is, they're more in it for the money. Because at the minute, if you notice, the only way you're going to win GTA is if you've got money. If you haven't got money in GTA, that's it, you're done. To be honest. So, if, you, if you're joining GTA now and you're level 1, um, and you want to do, let's say, stand your ground, something simple. Red, yeah, Red Dead 2 is going to come out, but I think they've delayed it again now till around about January, February. It was expected to be out about November, but they've delayed it, delayed it again. Just because they say, people, I've already pre-ordered Red Dead 2. I had that on pre-order about eight months ago, six months ago, eight months ago. I've been waiting for that for ages. But Red Dead 2 doesn't actually seem that good. I've watched um, one of one of the gameplays, which has already been released from Rockstar, um, with Red Dead 2. But um, if you go and take a look, just go online and search for like Red Dead 2 uh, gameplay, and you'll see. And it looks absolutely crap. It looks like the worst. It's even worse than Destiny. <laughs> By the looks of it, it's that. It's just that crap. You just not believe that they come out from something like GTA. And if you actually look at the graphics and the way they actually start up in the game in Red Dead 2, it's it's completely crap. Like you just wouldn't expect it off somebody like Rockstar. I mean, they, they haven't learned from what they've done already to make money. Obviously, every biz business is is there to make money, so. Destiny 2 is there to make money, Rockstar is to make money, otherwise it wouldn't do any more games, you know what I mean? But overall, um, Rockstar are too greedy with their money. Battlefield 1, um, it's just because Battlefield 1's died out. That's the only thing with Battlefield 1, it's good, but um, there's too many, there is too many DLC weapons in, um, in Battlefield 1 now with a premium. Because you're going to pay the same price for premium that you would do for the game itself. So call, I mean, Call of Duty World War Two. I haven't actually played that yet. I haven't even, I haven't really gone into it that much. Call of Duty World War Two. There's just too many Call of Duties out. One minute they want to do sci-fi, and the next they want to do realistic. I mean, that they're, they're, they're skipping a bit too much there. They should just con like, concentrate on one aspect. So whether they want to go either sci-fi or or back in time. And to be honest, the games are too close together, in my own opinion. Because they're not, they're not spending enough time just doing graphics on the one game. If they took three years to do one decent game and released it, everybody would buy it. But since they're making like one game every year, year and a half, they haven't got time to actually do the graphics. Money-wise as well, obviously you're paying a lot of money when the game first comes out. Uh, Battlefield 1, I don't like that there's a premium. Everything should just be one, like, one purchase price. Otherwise you're giving a fair advantage to other players. And even this game now, there's, it's not, it's not, just not structured good. Because what the hell am I supposed to do next? I mean, if you read this here, it says leave the plaza and speak, find a speaker. Meet Okora Ray in Tower Boulevard and join her search for the speaker of the city. Where the hell? So I'm in, I'm in Tower North now. So I need to go to Tower Boulevard. Destiny 2 is how Destiny 2 was supposed to be. And that's sad. Um, to be honest, I mean, Dest Destiny 1, I did play I did play the beta when it was first out. And I just got bored of it because you can only go so far in the beta. Um, but Destiny 2... I don't know, I'm feeling like I might get into it, to be honest. I might get into it. I'm not 100% sure yet. Because I don't want to spend, um, let's say, two months playing this. And then suddenly switch to Red Dead Redemption 2. 
because the problem is I'm playing too many games at the minute, so I'm playing Call of Duty Black Ops 3, I'm playing GTA, I'm playing this, I'm playing that. It's just too many games, the controls are so different and I can't be bothered to remap the controls. So for example, if we have a look at this game, you've got A to jump, you've got kind of uh, RB to kind of block, you've got uh, the LB and RB which is very similar to GTA, or very similar, not really, because you have to press both analog sticks in, in GTA for a special ability. Um, you've got the same, at least every game kind of keeps the same aim sights. Yeah, you can fire without doing the aim. The coolest thing about it is this, to, be, to probably to be honest, you can do little dance moves. Borderlands is crap. Borderlands is just the crappiest crap of crap. Look at that, look at that dance move. That's the best thing about Destiny 2 so far. What, what else can you do? Looks like it's going to the toilet. <laughs> Just sitting there like he wants the toilet. We need the new Bioshock. Bioshock isn't something I've actually gone into as well. There's a lot of games that, because there's a lot, there's a lot of money to be honest to be spending. And even though I've just hit 100,000 views on YouTube, I've just hit that um, today. 100,000 views and eight, just over 800 subscribers. So I've just hit that today. Um, money wise off YouTube is nothing compared to what you get for a game. I could work for one year and I still wouldn't get paid for... I still wouldn't even get the same amount as I would do for a copy of Destiny. I know yeah, that's the coolest thing ever. If it did, this should make your character dance in GTA. What, that is that dance move. That dance move is cool. Even especially the head thing when the head stays still. Watch this, yeah, there we go. But my character isn't my character. My character is red. And this character is not red. I don't know why it's done that. What happened to Saints Row? Saints Row? Um, I think I played one game on the Saints Row. Saints Row is it's too far ahead, I think. Um, I mean, some of the things in Saints Row are really good, uh, like the remote control car, I really like that kind of aspect, but um, to be honest, I think GTA, like Rockstar should just buy Saints Row, kind of like franchise and just import it to all their games, get it ready for GTA 6. I mean, GTA are probably going to bring out, uh, uh, because as I, as I said to a couple of my friends already, they've done obviously your air. They've done your land, and now they do need to concentrate on sea vehicles. So they they probably will bring out a lot of submarines or some new vehicles next on GTA. Some like you know what I mean, sea vehicles. They'll probably bring out a so instead of having your normal um, your normal yacht, you're gonna have I forgot what it's called now. Um, what's it called? Do you know in GTA and you're doing the now, when you have to get the hydro with the EMP, what's it called? No, no, YouTube hasn't hasn't demonetized de um, de de my content. YouTube haven't done that. It's just the actual the revenue. With YouTube is absolutely crap. YouTube is is like especially gaming. Gaming is the lowest paid revenue earner on YouTube. Just because so many little kids are just coming on YouTube and starting YouTube, and I think they're going to do it. And to be honest, there's a lot of fake um, YouTube channels as well. Like, it's so easy to spot a fake YouTube channel. I mean, there's one person the other day, for example, I just checked out the channel, had a quick look at the history, and in one day, just one day, they had um, 9,000... Uh, 9,856 subscribers in one day. Because you can pay for subscribers, obviously. I'll be back in one minute.
Right then, I am back. <sighs> because there is a hint at some tattoos. What do you mean tattoos, um, Emmanuel? What did you mean by tattoos? A uh, nice weapon your character has, Rage Gaming, it resembles. Yes, it does. I just like the red as well, to be honest. The red. Oh, you can have two characters. That's very nice. You can have two characters in this game as well. Right, let's get back to where we was. Ship. Now head to the North Tower. I'm sending Amanda Holiday to pick you up. Told me you need a ride. There we go, guys. As you can see, there was a problem. There was already a glitch out in the game, as it did not load the actual cutscene. It did not load this cutscene. So guardian, you never showed was up. Was it already a glitch? Hold on back there. Do something. <laughs> All right, Guardian. Time to kick him where it hurts. Let us know when the shields are down and we'll hit that ship with everything we got.
hologram could help. Let me take a look. Okay, the shield generator should be at the bottom of the ship. generator should be straight ahead.
Destroy the turbines. The shields should fizzle. Levels rising. It's working. Zavala, we did it. The shields are down. Zavala? Guardian, something's wrong. I am 
that's it for this live stream guys at the minute and we'll be 